Dear friends, today I would like to talk about Harry Potter as this character will probably be forever associated to me as a new school term. So today I will not talk about the book itself, as you can find loads of information on that, but more about an impact that this book has to the young generation and how it helps to shape our national folklore. The interaction of literature with folklore is not a one-way process. It is the playful forms of behavior that the experience of many previous generations is reflected, combined with the creativity of a particular person. In other words, such books like Harry Potter not only help kids to develop their creativity, but shapes them as personalities and forms their moral understanding and their aspirations. So why Harry Potter? It is probably worth mentioning that never before a children's book been published in such numbers. For example, by the end of 2001, 124 million books had been published in 47 languages. Never before has a children's book caused such a public outcry. Harry Potter swiftly burst into not only the lives of children, but adults as well. For example, Anglican Church issued a guide for pastors to use this book to preach Christianity. Some literary researchers, psychologists and priests are very enthusiastic about the positive effect of Rowling's books, claiming that she found a approach to the modern children, that she helped many children to break away from computers and television and return to reading books. Others insist that no Christian reading of these books is possible and that this phenomenon must be thought even calling for a general ban on the distribution of such works. The reason for this fame is not only that work is very well tailored according to the laws of literature, but also that people have long lacked a real fairy tale, living in the reality, one might say, uh, right on the next street. Yes, Harry is a fairy tale hero, so he is inherently positive, but at the same time, like any average school child, he makes mistakes, he cannot learn something, gets angry and quarrels with his friends. From book to book, the boy wizard learns to manage emotions, situations, falls in love and grows up like any other schoolboy. This is probably what made Harry Potter so popular, because we can find ourselves in that boy. Books, film adaptations, video games with a favorite character not only captivated our children, but also pushed them to their own creativity. The age-old interest of children in mysterious processes manifested itself in the desire to create their own spells and potions. On the screen now you can see some examples of such spells, but it also should be noted that children are very reluctant to share examples of this genre. Also, there are spells consisting of one unusual sounding words, and they are very interesting as well. Some of these words are a kind of flip-flops, you can read them in reverse. For example, revopim, which is mean my power, and the other examples you can see on the screen. And of course, some spells will only work with a magic wand. Some of the kids want to have their own original and unique magic wand, and you can find numeral blocks and posts on the internet that will explain you how to do it and what materials to use. It is obvious that children's folklore is a very unique phenomenon. Many genres coexist in it and each is associated with one or another aspect of a children's life, with almost all of its manifestations. And children's folklore is a whole world, bright, very joyful and filled with vitality and beauty. And to finish this short video, I would like to share with you an anecdote. Karkarov and Rookwood fleeing from the Aurors run into abandoned house. Karkarov hid in the fireplace and Rookwood in a barrel in the corner. 
The Aurors rushed in, looked into the fireplace, tied Karkarov, they led him to the exit, and suddenly Karkarov, passing by the barrel, kicked it and said, Augustus, come out, we have been betrayed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening and see you very soon in a next video.